Welcome back to another video guys. Um, big shout out again to my mod for providing me the account to try this on. Um, we've got a Theo Walcott review today. Um, I think the way we're going to do the reviews for the rest of the year guys is players that are debatable or players that you guys are really curious about um, or just flashback or more special kinds of players. I think we're going to go ahead um, and do reviews on. That's kind of what I think I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to have time to do a ton of reviews, but I'm going to try to get a review or two out per week. And then the, the channel structure will be that on weekends, you guys will have full on weekend league highlights. Maybe a, maybe a, uh, you know, a road to glory division rivals video within the day, um, or the week. It's not the day of the week, but that's how we'll do it. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up. Let me know how you guys feel about the value of this SPC right now. According to footpin.com, this player comes out to be 130,000 coins before packs back. Um, so we're going to go ahead and submit the final squad. You need 283 squads and an 85 rated squad. Now, what I would suggest to you guys that are doing this SBC or considering doing this SBC, wait until Division Rivals rewards this week, if you play Division Rivals, and take the untradeable rewards. That would be my best recommendation because what you can do with the untradeable rewards, because it's 283 squads, you can start to chip away at these squads really, really in a way that will be useful. So make sure you guys do that. If you guys are really considering doing this SPC this week, I think it will be really helpful for you guys um, to do. Beautiful car design. I'm a big fan of it. I know some people aren't, but I really like the car design. I think the car looks really nice. We've got 85, Theo Walcott doing some very awkward and odd dance, but let him do his thing. 96 pace, 81 shooting, 80 passing, 80 dribbling. And for me, Walcott does have a memory as a player. I used to use him on FIFA 17, his man of the match, and his inform. Both very good cards. I think this card is close to being the absolute best right mid in the in the, in the uh, Premier League if he had 4-4. But unfortunately, he does have 3-star, three 3-star. Three all in all, though, the car design is really nice. It looks really pretty, so no complaints about it there. We're going to test them out today, but more importantly, I want to talk to you guys about this card, a little bit of the value in terms of what you're going to get um, before you do this SPC. So you got a medium, medium, 3-star, three 3-star, three and right away, that is terrible. I have to be honest with you guys. 3-star, three 3-star three is extremely underwhelming, and medium, medium is just very average for work rates. It means they're not going to really defend or not going to really commit to attack. It's somewhere in between. Sometimes the runs won't happen. So as, a, as an attacking player, you want high, medium, high, low. High, high is okay, but you want this guy to be moving a little bit more. So you're going to have to set certain instructions on him, I think, to make him you know a little bit more active around the pitch. So all in all, the, the card stats look fantastic on paper, right? Besides that... They look really good. The card looks good. All it needs now is a dynamic image. But if you look in terms of the end games, the number one thing you're going to get with this card is freaking pace. That is unbelievable with this card. The amount of pace that you're going to get on this dude is going to be very special. Um, it's going to it's going to be very noticeable um, and very, very special. So 82 finishing is decent. 84 attack positioning, very decent. It's 96 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. You got 85 shot power, 73 long shots, 79 volleys, 83 penalties. 81 vision, 82 crossing, 84 free kick accuracy, 81 short passing, 86 curve. Then in terms of the dribbling stats, this is where it starts to get really nice. 89 agility, 86 balance, 85 reactions, 86 ball control, 90 dribbling with 83 composure. Um, the strength at 64 is something that is eh. It doesn't really matter too much. 76 stamina with 74 aggression, 71 jumping. I like the look of the card a lot. I mean, I think outside of the three-star, three-star, you do have a lot of nice stats. I think what you should do is, is consider about other players in this position, like Mars at 120K or Sterling. Look, you're not going to get a five-star skiller, and you're also not going to get a player in Sterling that I think has four-star weak foot. But it's a flashback, and it's the first of the year, so it's not a tear. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that this card is awful value because I don't think it's awful value. I think it's okay value. Um, I, I don't think it's terrible, terrible value. So I know a lot of you guys might be hopping onto this video or say, Nick, it's bad value. I, I don't I don't really think it's terrible value. I think it's acceptable value. If you want to do the SBC, you could do it. I think what I'm going to more do today is try to figure out how good is he? How much, how, how real is that pace? You know, is he really, is he really going to be that guy? Um, what we're going to do today, guys, for the chemistry style on Theo Walcott, I'm going to place a sniper chem style on him. I think a sniper would fit him best just for what I want out of him. Um, the reason why the sniper is so good is because you've already got the pace. You don't need more pace on Walcott. The difference between 96 and 99 is not that noticeable. And with the sniper chemistry style, what you're going to do is you're going to add his finishing to 97. Um, and you're going to add his composure to 88 with his agility at 99. So essentially, if you get responsive gameplay or decent gameplay, this card should feel god tier on your console. like Or whatever you're, whatever you're looking at, man. This card should be unbelievable in terms of a player and, and what he is going to do uh, for your team. So look. The, the only thing I would say for me and the, the honest opinion of me in this card, I am very intrigued in this card as a super sub. But I think what you have to figure out is that 
this is an 130,000 coin super sub. And I think that that is something that you need to think about before you do this SPC. You need to understand that that is an extremely, all right, extremely expensive super sub. And there's a lot of other super subs that you can get for this value. I think one that I'm that I'm popping up right now on my Google, on my Google, on my flipping, um, is Quincy Promise, right? And Quincy Promise was my super sub last week. I mean, he's 2,000 coins. So you need to start to evaluate certain players like that i mean it's 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 definitely relevant um and then we'll get we'll go ahead because i know the comments are going to be triggered nick you didn't open up the last pack so we'll see what we we did not get anything in the first two packs um but the last pack was actually a decent pack a rare election players pack it's never that bad so we'll open it up we'll see what we get we did not get a board so it could still be something decent but most likely it's not anything that good um we'll go ahead we'll we'll see what's in the pack it's nothing crazy maybe a silver or two so look at worst in my opinion you're going to probably make 30k 25k off the packs back so you, you get the cost down to Walcott's being about 100,000 coins, which is not terrible, right? It's not terrible for that card. The formation that we're going to play today, guys, in this video, back and forth between a 4-1-2 and 2 narrow uh, and a 4-2-3-1. If we play the narrow, Walcott is going to be at right striker. I'm, I'm, I know a lot of you guys might, might want left striker for the cut in and the finesse, but I think I'm going to keep my right striker for the near post and the cross goal shots. And then if we play a 4-2-3-1, which should be set up here, it is. We're going to go back. If we play a 4 2 3 1, where he's going to play is 100%. He's going to play out wide. Uh, we will play him as a right attacking mid, and we will utilize him down the line uh, for extreme pace and things like that. We're going to play a game or two, guys. We're going to see how he feels. Just give you guys the initial thoughts. If you guys enjoy the video today, drop a thumbs up. We are playing at 1580 skill rating. So compared to my main account, it's pretty low, but it's still Division 3. So it's not a joke in terms of the ranking and where people are at. Um, we will get right into it when we get our first opponent. Opponent number uno. Wow, the man has a lot of OTW cards. That's a nice team too, man. Hernandez, Sanchez, Walker, Yoris, Lucas Mora, Goretzka. Not going to be an easy opponent. Um, let's see what kind of damage we can do with Walcott, boys. Hard to deal with crosses like that. Fine ball from oh my God, the pace is crazy. The pace is insane, man. Oh, my Lord. I think that was... I think Walcott right there was up against Dobinson Sanchez as well, man. And there was no catching him, bro. He was away. Great finish for Mane. Great ball. What? Mane, finish it. That is such a weird goal. Mane gets the second goal. I borrowed the keeper. Somehow the keeper got like his toe on the ball and then the ball was still chilling there. So we get a second goal. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. Another fantastic pass. That's a foul. That has to be a foul. That might be a red. He just took me out. How is that not a red? And he's got the beating of his opponent. Can he finish it? Oh, he couldn't finish it. Oh, no. Come on, Walcott. That's got to be a finish. That's the weak foot right there, boys. So that's that's my biggest problem with the card. The weak foot, it may restrict the card at times. Can he finish it? Let's go. What a finish, man. This guy recklessly brought out his goalkeeper. First goal for Theo Walcott. Nice little finish there. Just the weak foot, man. It's, I mean, I think, it's, I think it completely confirms what I already know is that the weak foot is going to be the biggest problem with this card. Can he chip the keeper? No. Oh, he missed it. Oh, my gosh. Give it away. Get in. Let's go. Yo, this guy has lost his mind, bro. He is bringing out his keeper. It's all going wrong. He's tackling me. Here we go. Game number two. That's a eh to the eh team. That's an eh, eh. Promising forward play from them again. What a goal, man. All right. We're playing a good player right now. Holy moly. What a freaking goal for him. 
Routine for the keeper. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. Walcott, what a goal, man. Let's go, boys. Let's get it. What a finish, man. Top corner finesse shot. Wow, nice shot. Let's go. Good idea. Pass not executed with enough subtlety, really. The run was a good one. It's a good cross. That is right there. Idiotic goalkeeping 101. Idiotic goalkeeping. What in the hell am I doing, bro? What am I doing, man? Now Memphis Depay. Good pressure in midfield, and it's paid off. Sonaldo, let's go. Let's go. What a goal from Son. Son. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. Nice pass. Finish it. Oh, why did it take so long to shoot? He took so long to shoot, man. Excellent interception. Sadio Mane. Oh, Sadio Mane. Let's go, man. What a freaking goal that was. The comeback is on, boys. He's cut it out. Look at that pace, man. The pace, dude. And the ball. Oh, did we score? We got it. The pace. All right, he had a little bit of a bailout tackle, but we ended up getting a goal, guys. We are absolutely stomping this man. All right, brothers. So uh, that's going to be the review for today. We scored three goals and got one assist in two games with Theo Walcott. And I have to say, he is he is everything I expected. You know, it's not anything surprising. The number one attacking threat with this guy is the pace. And Jesus, is it crazy. He is fast as hell. Um, every time I was on the wing with him, um, he was just flying. I mainly played the 4 one 2 and 2 narrow, but overall, um, this is a really solid card. I, I don't really have anything terrible to say about the card. Um, the only thing is that the restriction of the skill moves specifically, the weak foot you can move around this year because it's a little bit easier to be unpredictable this year, but the weak, uh, the weak, uh, the skill moves was really annoying. Um, the fact that I couldn't pull off some skill moves with three star was annoying. Um, out of 10, I'm going to give him like an 8.5, 8.6. I mean, He's literally just pace, right? That's literally what you're going to get with this card. So an 8.5 is not bad. I gave my highest rating, I think, was Son or Lewandowski at 9.1 or 9.2. So he's not on their scale, but he's a little bit, you know. I, I, I still think in a scenario, I'd probably pick Sterling or Lucas Mora. You know, even though Lucas Mora is not a winger. Um, Mara is I loved um, because of the skills, and I'm more of a skiller. But overall, this card is not bad. Um, it's, it's solid. He's going to finish when you need him to. His passing is decent. Um, didn't really notice anything terrible in the work rate. So if you guys have a prem team, you guys can go and do them. Um, don't just do them for a super sub because that's just pointless. But uh, if you have a prem team, I think it's not a bad look. If it's a prem team, right? Don't just do it if it's a you have a Bundesliga team and you're gonna go make a team around field walk up. But he's definitely a, a player you can add into the squad if you know, if you want to. Um, he's not too bad. So thank you guys for watching the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review and the gameplay. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.